Thank you for choosing Sloan LED, an industry leader in LED illumination for retail signage and environments. This is a short video to demonstrate the installation of the Sloan LED Progressive Series Canopy Downlight. Please note that electrical codes do vary by location. Be sure to acquire any necessary permits before starting the job and adhere to local regulations during installation. First, we will review the tools and supplies that will make the job much easier. Then we will demonstrate the five steps of a typical replacement installation. Finally, we will show you how to complete a new and a retrofit installation as well. Before we begin, let's make sure we have the right tools for the job. Please refer to the enclosed install guide for a complete list. There are a few common supplies that are not included with the light. Wire nuts and roof tar or silicon sealant. The rest of the material you will need will be supplied with the light. Now that we have our tools and materials, we are ready to install the light. Step 1. Remove the old fixture. Remember, primary wiring should be worked on by a licensed electrician and all power should be off before working. Step 2. Clean the exposed surface once the fixture is removed. This will improve the heat transfer from the light to the canopy skin. At this stage, we recommend using the Sloan LED installation template to ensure that the wire penetration is in the right spot and that the light lines up with the rib lines. Hold the template up centering the half circle on the existing hole. Line up the lines on the template with the rib lines and mark the holes for the hanger bracket. Then mount the hanger bracket with the two self-tapping screws provided. Please note that the correct position of the hanger bracket will allow you to use the existing penetration for the new wiring. Make sure the hooks on the hanger bracket are facing away from the hole for the wiring. Step 3. Now hang the light on the hanger bracket temporarily. This allows you to run the wire up through the center penetration. With the wiring passed through the canopy, you can now swing the light up and secure it with four more self-tapping screws, two on each side. Please note there are eight holes. The additional holes provide flexibility in mounting to an existing 2x2 or shoebox. The work on the underside of the canopy is now done. It is time to go up top. Step 4. Mount the junction box either along one rib or across two ribs near the wire pass-through. It is required to have the junction box within 18 inches of the pass-through. Mount the box with two self-tapping screws. Secure one end of the flex conduit to the light and the other end to the junction box after opening the desired knockout. Connect the secondary side of the power supply to the progressive canopy downlight. Then connect the power supply to the primary wiring, again performed by a licensed electrician. You can now close up the junction box. This is a good time to test the lights before sealing up the penetrations. Step 5. Using a putty knife, spread the roof tar on the openings in the canopy skin, including the hole for the wire pass-through, and the six screws for the hanger bracket and light. A silicon sealant can be used instead, if desired. For large openings, it is recommended to use reinforced roofing fabric. Thread down the provided nuts until they are finger tight. A new canopy skin. You will have to create a pass-through for the wiring. This can be done with a hole saw attached to a cordless drill. Again, using the installation template can make lining the hanger bracket to the new hole very simple. 2x2 two two or shoe box. Sloan LED recommends that you remove and completely replace an old 2x2 two two or shoe box simply because you are relying on an old box to maintain both a weather seal and a mounting structure for a new light. However, the Progressive Series Canopy Downlight has been designed to retrofit to the existing fixture if desired. The hanger bracket can be secured to the flange of the shoe box instead of the canopy skin. Use these holes for boxes 22 inches or greater. Use these holes for any boxes that are smaller. The power supply goes up into the old fixture and can be secured with electrical zip ties. The junction box is not needed in this case. Recessed fixture. A recessed light is essentially the same as retrofitting to a 2x2 or shoe box. 
The hanger bracket mounts such that the wiring can go up into the old fixture. The power supply is mounted inside with the electrical zip ties and no junction box is needed. Thank you for taking the time to watch this installation video. We've designed the Progressive Canopy Downlight to be easy to install and if you follow these instructions carefully, you shouldn't experience any difficulty. But if you do, please call us or visit our website at sloanled.com. We'll be glad to help. We have technical support available through our North American and European office.